welcome back to my channel it is really hard to talk with these diamonds on my mouth but for today's video obviously i filmed this kind of like diamond purple skull type of thing i don't know i feel like it was kind of like a fun twist on my last year's skeleton look which was like golden tears um since you guys love that look i was like let me just do a little spin on it and create something a little bit different this year you know what i mean and I probably look so weird talking with this stuff all over my mouth, but you know. I actually did get inspired to do this look by an artist on Instagram, so I have the inspo pic right here with me. So this was the original picture, and I'll have her username on the screen somewhere just to credit her, you know what I mean? And also guys, the more I talk, the more studs fall off of my teeth so let's just go ahead and get started with this tutorial and also just make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Halloween tutorials like this one and also give this video a big thumbs up down below but yeah if you guys want to see how I achieved this makeup look right here then just keep on watching okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and start off by using my morphe 35b palette and I'm just taking this shade right here they don't have names so yeah I'm just taking that pink shade it's kind of like a fuchsia color and I'm just popping that into my crease just to kind of start off the eyeshadow. And I'm using this shade a lot in this video. I'm using the same like three eyeshadow colors throughout the whole video. Um, and I'm just using a Morphe M441 brush for this. And I'm popping it right into my crease. And then I'm kind of taking it up towards my brow just to kind of create that like sunken in skeleton skull like eye basically. What I'm doing, I'm just like frowning to kind of get an idea of like where... The shadow would go to kind of make my eye shape like more sunken in. And I'm just doing like circular motions and kind of buffing that all around and taking it also like down by the sides of my nose. And then I'm just taking this other purple shade and I'm just basically going to build that onto my eyeshadow as well. It's just going to be my second shade. It's important to use transition colors to kind of create like... A definition in the look you don't want to just go straight in with black eyeshadow you want to kind of create a transition and kind of a fade into the colors to make it look more of like an illusion kind of and then I'm taking a black eyeshadow by the way this palette is pretty much the only palette I'll be using all Halloween literally so if you guys want to recreate some of my Halloween looks you guys are gonna need this palette um but yeah I'm just taking the black shade in that palette and I'm doing the same thing and I'm just popping that into the crease and also onto my lid just to kind of start that smoky eye and then I'm taking it on to the inner kind of portion brow area I don't really know what to call this and also in my little frown lines or whatever you just want to frown just to kind of get an idea of where your frown lines would be it'll basically just make it look like it's all sunken in and really like dead looking you know what I mean and then I'm just going ahead and applying my lashes these are the lily lashes in Miami and I'm just popping those on you guys can use the code Tina to save 15% off lily lashes yeah And then I'm just going in and kind of doing some touch-ups on the eyeshadow, like kind of just defining it a little bit more with this um, flat brush from MAC. And then I'm just taking this little brush in that purple shade and I'm just going to kind of map out where the cheekbone would go, basically. And I kind of messed up here, so I just took some powder foundation and kind of covered it up. That's why you don't want to go straight in with black. You want to use kind of like a lighter shade so you can go back and wipe away any mistakes you made but yeah i'm just kind of following my natural cheekbone shape and making it look like super sunken in again this is just a sketch so it doesn't have to look perfect you're gonna go in and clean it up with concealer or foundation anyways afterwards so it's basically just like a rough outline and then i'm just taking that pink shade that i used before and i'm kind of just like blending this onto my cheeks and i'm just kind of following that shape that I use just to kind of make it look like my cheekbones are really like sunken in. I'm also taking it like around my temples. And I'm pretty much just using eyeshadow brushes for this entire look. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need is this palette, the eyeshadow brushes, and then like glitter literally. But yeah, then I'm just taking that other purple shade and I'm also just defining it a little bit more. It's pretty much like the same process as the eyes. And then I'm just going to start off on my kind of um, chest area just to kind of 
make it look more tied together i don't want to just leave my chest like totally bare you know what i mean so i kind of just like shade it around my collarbone and my neck just to kind of make it look more like a skull you know what i mean so i'm kind of doing this like little triangle shape on my collarbones and just defining them with that pink shade and yeah i do go in and like fix this up later i was just kind of doing it just to kind of get an idea of what it would look like um but yeah i do go in with like black later to make it look better you know what i mean um but yeah then i'm just taking the black eyeshadow onto my cheekbones and this does not have to be perfect because i am going to be taking a smaller brush to define it a little bit more i'm just using a blending brush just to kind of get that color down there and you want to use the black where the cheekbones would be most like sunken and you don't want to take it all over the place which is why we use transition colors to kind of make it look like three-dimensional yeah then i'm just taking the black on my chest and i do fix this later like off camera because it looks really rough right now don't judge it but yeah i'm just kind of shading that in um around my collarbone and my chest area and then i'm just taking a small like defined flat brush i believe this is a mac 239 brush but i'm not sure yeah i think it is but yeah i'm just taking this and it's pretty flat i'm gonna just kind of like go around the edges to make it a little bit sharper and then i'm just taking my foundation shade that i used all over my face and i'm just gonna go ahead and clean up around the sides by the way you guys i did start off with my foundation already done it was kind of like self-explanatory and i really want to waste time showing you guys my foundation or like my brows and stuff which is why i did it off camera but yeah i'm just cleaning up around the edges just to sharpen it and then i'm starting on the nose and basically i don't even know how to describe like how i'm doing this or like the shape but like you can just kind of like learn from watching it so i'm just creating like two little lines and i'm just making sure like the top of it is really sharp and then i'm creating like a little like circle almost i really don't know how to describe this but yeah you can just like learn and watch you know oh yeah but i started off with a purple eyeshadow and then i went in with the black now i'm just blocking out my lips i'm just taking some foundation and i'm applying them onto my lips for when we do the teeth later and i'm taking these two shades from the morphe palette the same morphe palette and i'm basically just gonna set my lips with that because the foundation didn't like totally cover the shade of my lips so i just kind of took those eyeshadows just to set it so it didn't move around and then i'm just taking a black eyeliner i'm using a felt tip liner this is the stila one i'm just kind of creating like little teeth and you want to start off like in the center you just want to like mimic natural teeth so in the center you want them to be like the biggest or like the longest whatever and then as you go like out further you want to make them smaller and then i'm just drawing like a thin line across them just to kind of distinguish between the teeth and then i'm taking the moonchild glow kit from anastasia and i'm taking that shade right there and i'm just highlighting the tops of my cheekbones just to kind of make them like stick out and pop out even more And I used a silver one because it kind of ties in with the whole diamond theme, you know what I mean? And then I also just highlighted my collarbones and my chest. And then I took this pigment from Makeup Geek. This is the Meteor Shower pigment, and I'm just applying that onto my inner corners. Um, but I did use the Urban Decay Glitter Liner as kind of like a base for it to stick onto. And then I'm just doing the same thing on like the tip of my nose. So it's basically like highlighting... The tip of your nose just with like glitter you know what i mean then i'm just taking this little like sheet of diamonds like little studs i'm gonna try to find it and link it for you guys down below i think i got it off amazon or something but it's just a sheet of like little studs so i just used the white ones or like the clear ones whatever you want to call it and I used some Too Faced glitter glue. I just patted on the glitter glue first and then I went ahead and took tweezers and just stuck them on there. I did them down the bridge of my nose. I did them under my eyes like little teardrops. And then I just did the same thing on my cheekbones. But I just did kind of like a straight line. But I did end up adding more kind of towards my temple because I felt like my forehead looked like a little bit bare. You know what I mean? So I just went ahead and added more around my forehead area. Now I'm just taking them and I'm also just applying them in between my teeth. So, so when you do like the liner part, you don't have to make it perfect because the little like diamond studs are going to cover them anyways, you know what I mean? So I'm just filling in any of the spaces with these little studs. And the good thing about this um, sheet that I got is that they had like different sizes. So there were like big ones, medium, and then small. So I kind of like took the bigger ones 
um, in my front teeth and then I went like smaller as I went out but I actually took like purple and then black kind of towards the outer area but I ended up changing it and just doing the white ones because I felt like it looked weird um, but right here I'm just adding some glitter into my hair because I felt like my hair looked kind of boring and I didn't feel like putting on a wig so I just added glitter onto my hairline just to kind of make it like tie in with the look you know what I mean just use like silver glitter and there you guys that is the completed Halloween diamond skull makeup tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed make sure to go ahead and subscribe down below for more Halloween tutorials like this one I love you guys and I will see you in my next video bye guys